the age-old question of if there is life on other planets has preoccupied scientists and astronomers for decades likewise. If there is life on other planets. It is because these planets are similar to Earth in terms of their mass. Distance from their host star and many other important factors. Our existence on Earth tells us there must be other habitable planets in space because it's a little scary to think of Earth's organisms and human beings as the only life forms in the universe with this in mind astronomers and scientists have been zeroing in on an exoplanet called Kepler-186f. NASA astronomers have discovered the first Earth-sized planet orbiting a star in the habitable zone. In other words the range of distance from a star where liquid water might pool on the surface of an orbiting planet. This planet is called Kepler-186f and is one of five exoplanets hosted by the Kepler-186. It is a similar size to Earth and is located in a similar position from its host star as Earth is to the Sun. This is a groundbreaking discovery by NASA that may mean there is life on other planets, so what does it mean for a planet to exist in a habitable zone and how is it habitable? First a planet existing in a habitable zone does not mean it can host life without further study. This is because a planet's atmosphere also dictates if life can exist based on its composition example Earth's atmosphere supports life. Sustainability it is composed of nitrogen oxygen argon water vapor and carbon dioxide on the other hand Venus and Mars have atmospheres composed of almost all carbon dioxide, Venus in particular has so much carbon dioxide in its atmosphere that its surface is so hot. It can melt lead known as a greenhouse effect aside from its size and location from Kepler-186. Why exactly does NASA think Kepler-186f could contain life while existing telescopes are not able to assess this exoplanet's atmosphere? We do know that other planets Kepler-186b, C, D and E hosted by the same star are expected to be too hot to have liquid water NASA expects Kepler-186f holds promised by being in a higher orbit where the host star's tidal effect is weaker. This means the planet could contain pools of water, the discovery of Kepler-186f is a big deal for several reasons. First it has been given the nickname Earth's cousin as it resembles Earth in its size. It's known as the first Earth-sized alien planet found in the habitable zone of its star. According to space. Com this red dwarf star Kepler-186 is said to be cooler than the Sun. Kepler-186f's host star is not as bright as the Sun in terms of how the planet is illuminated potential life forms could be living in a darker environment. However, it wouldn't be like the darkness. We experienced at night time. It would be more similar to the orange golden hour glow. We enjoy during the sunset the discovery of this exoplanet is even more exciting. When you research its spin axis dynamics the Georgia Institute of Technology has discovered that Kepler-186f says axial tilt is similar to Earth's its stable axial tilt further supports the theory that this exoplanet can sustain life. Since it experiences the same climate and seasonality as Earth. How important is a planet's axial tilt when determining if hosting life is possible to compare it to our solar system Mars as our habitable zone? However, its unstable axial tilt is said to be the reason why it could pool water billions of years ago. Whereas now it is considered to have a desolate landscape that is unlikely to host life. Similar to a desert another reason, why the discovery of Kepler-186f is so monumental is how it compares to other exoplanets thought to be similar to Earth before Kepler-186f. Scientists were drawn to another exoplanet named Kepler-62f described as the most Earth-like exoplanet until scientists noticed 186f. In 2014, Kepler-62f while similar to Earth in size is suspected to be an ocean-covered world the main difference between the two exoplanets is that Kepler-186f remains an enigma in terms of its surface area composition and density since the planet requires further study. Scientists are hopeful that it may be more likely to be able to support sustainable life than Kepler-62f. Now that we know Kepler-186f has stable seasonality and climate likely has water deposits resembles Earth in size and exists in a habitable zone from Kepler-186. Is it unrealistic to think of ways human beings can reach this planet? Many scientists have speculated ways in which the Earth will cease to exist and while it could be millions of years from now. There is some comfort knowing there is another planet that could host human beings scientists speculate that Kepler-186f is about 500 light years away from Earth. Sadly one light year is the equivalent of around 6 trillion miles as technology currently stands. Sadly one light year is the equivalent of around 6 trillion miles as technology currently stands. This means it would take millions of years to reach Kepler-186f in the meantime until interplanetary travel and technological advancements occur. It may continue to be the home for unconfirmed extraterrestrial life forms. 
it is astonishing to know that other planets outside of our solar system can potentially host life because of how similar they are to Earth. This allows for more thought-provoking questions like what does life mean life does not mean one form of life as countless organisms with varying biological and physical traits exist on Earth. Earth is home to life forms that have evolved and coexisted over billions of years and if these exoplanets, we've discussed contain life there's a chance their life forms are as varied as ours. Thanks to science innovation and astronomy. We've discovered that Kepler 186f could contain life nicknamed Earth's cousin. Its size distance from its host star axial tilt climate and other factors mean there is a strong chance that it can sustain life forms. While this is exciting there is a lot that remains a mystery such as Kepler 186f's atmosphere composition and surface area. It is also 500 light years away. So, unless there are great strides made in interplanetary travel technology, the planet could remain mysterious for quite some time despite. This science has consistently astounded us. So, it would be worthwhile to regularly check for updates about Kepler 186f. So, what do you think could this exoplanet sustain life? Let me know in the comments below a lot of time and research goes into these videos every week if you enjoy watching. Why not hit that subscribe button or just check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.